Imagine bursting into laughter at your own mother's funeral or sobbing uncontrollably at a stand-up comedy night. For the two friends in our next story, the ironies of life can be truly painful. Maureen can't stop crying and she's a stand-up comic, while her friend Scott is unable to suppress roars of laughter. In fact, he's the real-life inspiration for the movie Joker. And both have a story they want to share. They say laughter is the best medicine. But what if laughter is the actual disease? <laughs> and it's been slowly destroying your life. Can it be dangerous? Absolutely. Buckle up as we meet the man whose disorder inspired a Hollywood legend. That's funny. Scott, thanks very much for having a chat to us about this. Um, really appreciate your time. Yeah. That's really good of you. Yeah, absolutely. Interviewing a bloke like Scott Lotan is like tiptoeing through a minefield. Yeah, I've been instructed by my boss not to tell you any jokes, uh, you know, so... Because at any second, he could explode. <sighs> and not in the way you'd expect. It just comes on. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to control I, it? I, I'm trying to control it right now, yeah. You see, the one thing you don't want to do is make Scott laugh. Because if he starts, he'll find it very hard to stop. And it, it's it's not a, a, a chuckle, ha, 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 ha. It, it is a full body experience. On the ground, in fetal position, turning red, it's a whole body experience that is absolutely exhausting. As much as he wants to hold it in, there's no way he can. <coughs> he calls these bursts of hilarity the uninvited guest. A guest that first appeared 20 years ago. <laughs> Can you remember the very first time when it first hit you? Back in 03, um, I, I, I was in a car accident. We we're leaving my, my engagement party and uh, we got hit by a drunk driver. Uh, it killed my mother and my fiance. Uh, fiance uh, died on the scene. And my mom, two days later, um, in intensive care. It didn't happen at the scene of the crash, did it? What's that? Did Laughing? You... Yes, absolutely it did. And, and the police are there, and then what? You're laughing. And I'm out there laughing. What would the police say? How'd they take it? Um, they didn't take it well. The final straw, though, the funeral the next week. I just kept my head down and a friend put a coat over my head, walked me out that way, brought me right back up around here and put me in a car. To shut you up? I, I, just to try to give the appearance of, like, I, you know, I was emotionally overrun, but I was laughing. Many months later, his neurosurgeon discovered the reason for his baffling, erratic behaviour. A head injury from the car crash had triggered his disorder. He's like, you see this black spot right here? That's a dead nerve. It's never coming back. You will never be able to stop this. This is where, where it's happening. And back then, it was called emotional incontinence or pathological laughter. So nowadays, it's called a PBA or pseudo bulbar effect. <laughs> Tiny dressing room in downtown New York, comedian Maureen Wojciechowski is getting her game face on. You guys are ever a real drink? Please put your hands together. Very funny. Maureen Wojciechowski, say hello, Maureen! How y'all doing? <laughs> okay, so I'm here. Uh, where do I begin? But Maureen has more than nerves to contend with. In her case, she can burst out crying at any moment. 
They made a musical about Back to the Future. <laughs> I forgot, they made like 32 of those movies. In 2020, Maureen was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, and it was Parkinson's which triggered her PBA. Has anyone seen Joker? Anyone? No, oh, one person. <laughs> In the whole room. Did the neurologist say that out loud? Did he say, look, I think you've got pseudo-bulba? She, well, first she told me to stop crying, and I was like, well, I, this isn't something I can control. I was in hysterics. And she was like, you know, you're showing signs of emotional incontinence. Th that's how they describe it, don't they? Mm -hmm. Emotional incontinence. Right. I mean, it's not good. It, it's not pleasant. Um, it's, it, it wouldn't sound like something you would want to discuss over dinner conversation. Like, oh, hi, I have emotional incontinence, you know? No. <laughs> it's, it's insanely off-putting. For Maureen and Scott, their biggest problem is that people find it difficult to believe that they can't control their unwanted displays of emotion. I remember one time at, at, at work, you know, somebody came and told me about somebody that recently passed away, and he was telling me that, yeah, he just died from pancreatic can cancer. And I started bursting out laughing. And this new hire was like, what the hell is the matter with this guy? I want to punch him in the face. It's driven me crazy because it's, it's exhausting, it's embarrassing. It's everything you don't want to happen. So you don't really know what triggers it? No. It could be I'm getting up to just get a cup of coffee, or I'm on the train going somewhere. What, you start crying? I'll start crying. Are you trying to control yourself now? Yeah. But, but there's no emotion in it, Maureen. No. These are questions I'm totally prepared for that don't require. <laughs> and that, that's just not controllable. Is it hard to pull back? Sometimes. Do you, do you, do you like a tissue? Thank you. Sometimes it is. It, um... But how... Should I feel then? Because... It's off-putting, I know, and it gets very... It makes people very uncomfortable. Somewhat ironically, Maureen feels most comfortable on stage. So I ran into a Tinder date of mine on my way here. But even as she cries, she's having the last laugh. Conspiracy theorists believe that Australia is not real. <laughs> Maureen's not only owning her condition, She's turned it into a punchline. Ronald McDonald is a clown. That guy has killed more people than the Joker. I walked into stand up to be a comedian, and I put myself out in the public eye that way. It's like, what's the worst thing that can happen? I'm going to cry, I'm going to laugh. Either way, it's going to happen. <laughs> As for Scott, <gasps> His journey to acceptance began when this YouTube clip went viral a decade ago. But we're, we're just like driving and I just started having an attack in his car and my old roommate decided he was gonna post it on YouTube. Um, he, he just filmed me in the car. Views, I think they're up to like seven million now. But one man would make it his own. As bad as Scott's laughing fits are, if you've got a funny feeling they look slightly familiar, you'd be spot on. The Brains Trust here at Warner Brothers decided to give them a touch of Hollywood. Using Scott's online videos, they used his facial spasms and his bodily contortions as inspiration for a character they call the Joker. <laughs> if you compare side by side, it's an imitation. <laughs> that laugh that, that you just heard, 
So I know exactly where where they uh, learned that particular laugh. <laughs> it was like looking in the mirror. There are days when Maureen can't stop sobbing, but she's never been happier. Awareness has brought understanding and acceptance from her New York family. And for our real life Joker, it's a similar story. Scott's wife, family, and community love him for who he is. And for Scott, that's no laughing matter. I told you it hurt. He's even up for a joke. You wanna try these out? Sure, we can go for it. You sure? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to push you into this. Uh, no, 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 it's okay. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. It's fine. The worst dad jokes of all time. When does a joke turn into a dad joke? Um, don't know. When it becomes apparent. <laughs> that one's pretty good. I might use that later on my kids. What's ET short for? I don't know. Because he's only got tiny legs. <laughs> What's <laughs> you sure you want to keep going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's orange and sounds like a parrot? Uh, carrot. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 Scott. Uh, no, keep going. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate, I'll stop. No, 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 it was perfectly fine. I'll stop. I've done this shit a million times. I'll stop there, I'll stop. <laughs> Go ahead. Can I say in passing that you are the best audience I've ever had? <laughs>